Hey guys, thank you very much for tuning into another video of my life. And in this video, we're going to do an unboxing of an Oppo Reno 2 uh, in like new used condition from Amazon. Okay, so I've always wondered what it might be like to buy a like new used item from Amazon. And I actually love the Oppo Reno 2 phone. In fact, I've done the unboxing of the Oppo Reno 2 brand new mint, uh, so Virgin unboxing, uh, because I bought two of them. But somewhere along the lines, unfortunately, I deleted that video, so it's lost now. So this isn't the first time I'm unboxing an Oppo Reno 2, which is a brilliant phone. And before I begin, just I just can't recommend you this phone enough, okay? To simplify it and summarize it, this is a bargain of a year. Uh, this year, last year, whenever it was released, to be honest with you, every single year, pound for pound, I can't find a better phone, uh, specs-wise and features-wise, versus this phone. In fact, I'd say that, uh, to, to kind of summarize it, you can think of it as a OnePlus 7T, I think. Uh, the only thing is the OnePlus 7T has a faster processor, but it doesn't have a headphone jack. Uh, it doesn't have a, a couple of other features that this phone has has for example okay so there's it might have a wider field camera and, and things but it's just much much more pricier so pound for pound even from the day that it got launched when i bought it for about 280 pounds brand new sealed uh to this day where i bought this item used like new for about 145 pounds or something what an absolute bargain um i just can't find a phone which can which can beat it okay for the price so even before we start, I can tell you, I recommend you buying this phone. Um, we, uh, you know, I've got two uh, of them, which I bought for other people. And this is the third one, which I have also bought for someone else. Before we begin, uh, if you do feel free, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe at any point during this video or indeed after. I really, really appreciate it. I, I, I still can't believe people do that at the goodness of the heart. Um, you know, I think at the point of making this video, it might be 279, 280 subscribers, something like that. And I would like to thank you all uh, who choose to do that. I really, really appreciate it. And I do also hope that this video is helpful to someone uh, in some way to help them make a decision as to what they'd like to do with buying this particular phone or indeed any other uh, Amazon warehouse uh, used like new item. So just to show you that I do know what it's like to unbox something brand new and sealed, here you go. This is the box of the Oppo Reno 2. I'm not going to show you the back because the back has IMEI numbers and things of that nature. But here you go. You can have a look at the box itself. So it's got a nice, you know, shiny uh, sort of two-tone thing going on in the background here. And the camera focus is getting a little bit confused. Uh, because of its shininess and there's multiple sources of light in this room as well just to let you know and maybe I should turn off the camera light that'll make it easier for the camera so you can see it's like a two-tony thing going in the background this shine is going this way you can you can notice that ever so slightly there you go so it's slightly like that uh, uh, the second one that I bought it was they were vertically straight so there's a bit of a production thing going on where they, they can't get it perfectly lined but you know what who cares uh, you can see here the rainbow effect. You can see this has a rainbow effect as well. It's emphasizing that green dot here. This is a ceramic, um, ceramic uh, sort of semi-circular, semi-spherical uh, thing here, which is that make sure that when you lay the phone like that without the uh, without the cover, this one has a cover on it. You can see. So let's pause that. So when you lay it flat, like this one, you can see here, okay, this is the Oppo Reno 2. If you, if you lay it flat on the back, then this is going to prevent from the, uh, the camera from getting scratched and things like that. So it's a very useful feature, actually, um, very useful. And you can see that it's completely flat. So even it's got four cameras, they have put a lot of effort in. So this is the thing. This phone is not that pricey, but it's a premium handset. And that's why it's great value for money. So they've made it flat purposefully so that it doesn't, you know, when you when you put it on the back, it doesn't kind of wobble uh, and it doesn't catch the cameras. And it's absolutely fantastic. It's Gorilla Glass on the back, Gorilla Glass on the front. 
you can see a hole there, which I'll come to in a second. I hope I don't forget. Well, I might as well cover it now. This hole is actually uh, somewhat of an audio mic, a zoom mic. So if you zoom in on your videos, it'll try and focus the sound on the source of the sound, even if it's like, uh, you know, 10 feet away, 20 feet away. Let's say someone's speaking to you from a distance, you want to zoom in on their voice. This is what it uses to do that. Now, the, this effect is very subtle. I wouldn't say it's uh, completely as as you might imagine it to be, but it's it's better to have it. And these are the sorts of things. You see, what Oppo Reno did with this phone is they overspect it to our benefit as customers. That's good for us compared to the price. And they didn't promote it. I didn't see a single advert of this phone. Uh, definitely not on TV. If they'd made even a couple of adverts here in the UK, for example, for this phone, this phone would have flown off the shelves. And yet people actually don't even know that this phone exists. And it's so good for the price. I've seen people buy worse phones for the same price uh, or higher even. And now at, when I'm buying this phone for £145 used like new, it is just a no-brainer. It is no-brainer. This uh, case, uh, again, I'll come to it in a second. You've got some stitching here. This is uh, not real leather, but it feels very soft. You can kind of push it around a little bit. Uh, the buttons are nice and clicky. You can hear them. Okay, very satisfactory. Uh, you can see a, a dual flash there. It's, it's got a hybrid zoom. It's got optical zoom as well. Five times, I think, two times or five times optical zoom. Optical image stabilization. All of these things are quite premium. And then on the front of the phone, which I'll show you later, there isn't actually uh, any um, bump, notch, whatever you want to call it, nothing. Uh, because it's got a shark fin camera. Again, very unique to Oppo. I, I'm not sure why they stopped doing that. It was uh, all the new phones of Oppo Reno range. They don't actually have this. Not only that, old phones, or sorry, newer phones, um, they they kind of uh, skimp on a number of different things that this phone has. So you find that if you look at Oppo Reno 3, it's not really better than Oppo Reno 2. And if you look at Oppo Reno 4, again, you might find something similar. But you can see here you go, this is the Amazon warehouse item. This is what it looks like on the edge. Okay, so I'm just going to cover the IMEI numbers. Give me a second. And there we are. And this is what it looks like from the back. And it's quite a big thing for me to fit in my little smartphone camera. But there we are. Okay. And in reality, this whole thing would be sealed in a, in a cling film like sort of packaging. So this is clearly be, has clearly been opened. Uh, there's no doubt about that. It's opened, it's been opened by someone. It is therefore used. Someone definitely checked it out because otherwise it would have a seal on, on, on top, which it doesn't. I can't remember whether this was there when I opened the, the, the first box up. I, I don't think it was. Um, in fact, I guess I can just look on this one, can't I? So yeah, so this is what it looks like new. So you can see on the new one, you just have these stickers on the side, which says, you know, that is definitely 100% never been opened. Whereas this one, uh, Amazon Warehouse, what they seem to be doing is they put, they're they putting on this uh, circular stickers on the side to indicate that, look, it is a sealed item, even though it's used as used like new, etc. Okay, so I'm going to start opening this up in a second. And just to let you know, it might not be very clear to see on here, but um, if I turn on the light here, this does have a texture, which the camera might not be picking up. Uh, yeah, it's definitely, it's got, oh, there we go. So it's picking it up now. You can see that it's shiny. It's got a bit of a pattern there. Uh, and you can see this Oppo, Oppo Reno logo right here, uh, you know, in the rainbow effect. So there you go. There's some detail there for you. And again, on the front, if we do that, you can see that that shine, that two-tone sort of thing going on, rainbow effect. Um, it's nice. It's nice. So start starting to remove the stickers at the back. Okay, so I'm about to take the phone out of the box. And I mean, you tell me, am I reasonable in expecting that it should be flawless 
Uh, I, I'm thinking that a used like new item will be exactly that. It'll be used like new in the sense that um, it will have no scratches whatsoever. I'm expecting the labels to be on there, definitely the screen protector to be on there. Now, even if it did have a couple of scratches, to be fair, compared to the price I've paid, it'll still be okay, even in a used condition. But uh, of course, if it's been described used like new, I would want it to be used, but like new. Uh, to give you an example here, I did buy a phone for someone else a couple of years ago. Uh, two years later, I wanted to sell it on uh, because I was uh, replacing that, that phone. In fact, this phone, this particular phone is for that same person. Um, and even two years later, it barely looked used. Okay, barely. Like, there was hardly a scratch. I can't believe, I've never seen a phone where I've given it to someone and it was completely scratch free. And then two years later, it's still flawless. Um, so that's, that's again, another example. Of course, that's something that's been used for two years. There'd be battery degradation and things like that. I wouldn't expect that to use like new, but that would be like new condition. As far as the conditions concerned is like new, but not the internals necessarily. For example, the battery, uh, it would be the main thing. So in this case, I'm, I'm expecting actually use like new where someone's opened the case and then open the box, sorry, and return the item, something like that. Let's see whether it is indeed the case. Okay, so this is what the box, box looks like from the inside, if you care. It's quite a sturdy little thing, actually. Quite solid, okay, very solid. You could probably use that for something. Okay, and again, just being very careful not to show the back of the box where there's sensitive IMEI numbers and things like that. Again, that sort of texture is carried on internally here little dots, just so you, you know what it is. The texture is uh, little tiny dots, okay? You can kind of hear the... That should give you an idea of the, of the texture, hopefully. Let's take this off. So a used like new item apparently should have all the manuals, everything, and it should be exactly like, for example, used like new, okay? I'm just adjusting my tripod a bit so I can get the shot. Okay, lovely. So there we are. Okay, little dot here. Maybe it's things like that that they're trying to be mindful of. You know, there's a bit of glue or something at the back. Um, okay, these things are inside. Okay, so these. Uh, this is the guide. Get this. I mean, who ever reads this? But, you know, it's health and safety stuff and... For someone who does read it, fair enough, you know, fair enough, this is there for you. What else is in here? There you go, this is the other thing. Okay. And that all goes in here. Okay. Tell you what, it does have a smell, which is uh, a like new smell. I remember this smell. It smells exactly the same as what it did the first time around. Okay. Is the screen protector on there? No. So it comes with a factory uh, screen protector. Okay. When you buy it brand new, I can't put, no, is it there? I can't personally see it. Okay. Let's have a look. Okay, guys, so the screen protector, just to let you know, has been removed on this one, okay? Which, again, I don't personally mind. Um, I Maybe it was used. Uh, maybe it was used more than, uh, you know, perhaps I thought. I don't know. But uh, there we are. Because I, it, it does come with a factory installed screen protector. In fact, you can see it here, okay? You can see it on this one. At the edge, there's a factory installed screen protector. You might not be able to see it on a camera, but it's right here. You can see it on the edge, okay? And it's perfectly fitted, perfectly fitted. So that's a great thing about all these Chinese manufacturers, which is that they do it for you. They put the screen protector on because you, they know that a lot of people want it on there. Um, but this one has been removed. My, my guess is that maybe the screen protector was a bit scratchy. So what they've done is taken that off so you've got a flawless screen underneath so you can again it supports the use like new thing okay i'm examining the front uh front of the phone the the screen in a lot more detail please bear with me i can confirm that the front of the screen is fair to describe as use like new 
And in fact, if it had the screen protector on, it probably might be literally like new. Let's examine the sides now. I'm doing that now very closely. You might not, you might not be able to see it on a camera clearly, but I'm using my eyes here and it's, um, I'm looking very carefully. Again, guys, on the side, I can confirm it is like new. I cannot see any flaws here whatsoever. If this had the, 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 the screen things at the back, the, the, there's okay. So when it's new, it comes with stickers on the back. Okay. It's got like barcodes and um, IMEI numbers and stuff like that on the back. This doesn't have it. The other thing that's obvious as well is this phone actually comes in a in a in a a sleeve. Okay, it comes in a sleeve, and uh, the sleeve, of course, is not present on this one either. But guys, this is, I mean, it's flawless. It's flawless. It is used like new. There is there is no doubt in my mind about that. There is no other way you can describe this item. It is been taken out. The, the someone's removed the the screen protector. Maybe they didn't like it. I don't know. They've returned it. I don't know why they've returned. They have. They've returned it. It's a mistake. It's a mistake to return this one because <laughs> it's so good. Uh, you can see this quite psychedelic, shiny thing. Can I just say, in real life, in front of you, it is it is just as impressive. Okay, it is really impressive the way it sort of shimmers and shines and catches the light. Uh, it's kind of catching me in the reflection, which I sort of don't want <laughs> but you can you can look at it on the edge it's kind of got this glowy thing right at the top you can see here look pay attention here you know someone's put the effort in to make sure that this happens correctly and someone's put the effort in to design it like this you can see all the shimmering and shining goodness me it looks nice it looks very nice it's just a shame to actually put it in a case oh there we are there's the case as well goodness so there we are that's the case you can see that it's good condition it's flawless again you've got the stitching there this comes within it as as well i mean it's just can't fault it can i see that someone's used the case maybe possible yes so it is possible i think someone has used this but they've they've put it they've been very careful with the item and i think they've used the case to protect the phone and you know what? Whoever had this phone, thank you for doing that. Okay, thank you for taking care of this phone. Uh, and thank you for using the, the, the case, because that's what the case is for, is to protect the item. I can see on the corners very, very light scratches right on the corner. And, you know, to be honest with you, an average person, would they notice that? I'm not sure. But there's a scratch like here. So I think what's happened is they've definitely used the phone and it's used, um, used in, the, uh, in the case. Okay, so let's have a look at the inside of the, um, the screen uh, phone protector. You can see that this will be quite a unique thing because this shark fin comes off at the top. There is no protection at the top because that's where it comes off from. And it doesn't affect anything, if I'm honest with you guys. It doesn't affect anything. Uh, it works just fine without it. On the inside, you've got this hard plastic extra protection. You can see these dots again. Uh, I think all these dots relate to the O here, so Opal, you know, it starts with O, finishes with O, it's got the O sound. So I think we saw the uh, circles here, uh, we saw the dots on, on the edge of the box and so on, it's all to do with O. Uh, but yeah, here we are, and that's a, uh, very, very, very good. Again, another credit to these Chinese manufacturers that they just give you everything you need out of the box, you know, uh, you need a charger, there you go, SIM removal tool, uh, you know, uh, headphones, yeah, you probably need a headphones, look, we put a headphone jack in here, so you don't necessarily need to buy a Bluetooth headphones if you don't want to. Of course, if you are, you should buy the True Air 2. Uh, again, there'll be links in the description and you can check out my video. I've done two on those now, actually, because again, I've bought it multiple times, similar to the Oppo Reno 2. So that it's actually good to show you that I'm only recommending what I kind of like myself. Otherwise, I, I don't tend to recommend it. But so, so there we are, top quality case, all right? Okay, the next question is, are the earphones used or not? Let's have a look, I hope not. Uh, no, earphones are not used. I'm guessing they probably wouldn't put used phones in, used earphones in here for hygiene reasons. The cable looks untouched, my goodness. Yeah, it might have been used, who knows, but I can't tell. 
Uh, the sim removal tool is on there, brilliant. Let's see if someone's used the... So when someone uses the plugs, this, this part sometimes gets marked, or this part, because it catches inside. Uh, and again, flawless, guys. Flawless. Because remember, I, I know what it's like to unbox a brand new item, uh, specifically this one, the Oppo Reno 2, and not just once, but twice. So I know what it's like. Oh, they've got a little flap here to take this off. Um, I know what it's like to unbox this. So trust me when I say that this is used like new. It is like new, okay? And if there was a flaw, if there was something I could pick up on, I would have done that, okay? There we are. So conclusion, used like new. Is it? Is it? Is it indeed used like new? 100%, let's turn it on. And it turns on good vibrations in there, just normal. I've told you before, the buttons are clicky. The only thing I can say is both buttons, I think have a similar click. They kind of have a similar click. This one is slightly different, but again, that's just probably minor. Uh, you can see that it's got a green button on the power button. You've got the SIM removal tool here. Look, I'm not going to go through the phone itself because you can check the um, you know specifications online and things like that. One thing that you guys do deserve is the um, uh, camera coming up. There you go. Shark fin. Okay, again, someone's using this phone, so... There you go, coming up, okay, going back in. Someone's using that phone, so they've got their personal information on there, so I can't show it too much. But uh, there we are, there we are, look at that. So I can tell you, honestly, best value for many phone, the shark fin is awesome. I, sorry I can't show it to you because, well, let me, let me see if I can try actually, give me a second. Okay, so there we are. Okay, so I've covered that part. So you can see this camera here comes up, makes a noise. It does the the, the thing. Uh, the light comes up around. You can you can pick that as well. Look, you can pick that effect. It comes on right from the bottom to the top. I hope I don't lock this person's phone. It's an in in screen fingerprint reader and something else oh, and you can see the speaker right here as well oh it went back in and you can, that's where you hear the sound from because remember this is a bezel less screen with no notches okay with no notches so that's where the sound comes from when you when you're speaking the screen quality is excellent and guys the pictures on this my goodness me excellent top quality camera on this one really natural lighting really natural colors uh you know, there's got is a few nitpicky things like if you're zooming out, pinching zoom, right? You will zoom all the way out to a wide camera, uh, and then when you zoom back in, it forgets any settings. So, let's say that I don't know, you you turn the HDR on or something, or you turn the flash on. If you zoom out, uh, like a constant flash, if you zoom out, you're in the wide uh, wide camera, and then you zoom in. Let's say you're pinching zooming, uh, and you go back in, then it's going to forget that the, the, the light should have been on or the HDR should have been on. So it kind of resets and you have to turn the light back on. So it's got little niggly things here and there, but I wish they fix it, uh, but they still haven't fixed it. It's got software updates after software updates. Uh, you know, it's upgraded to the re um, latest, uh, well, not the latest, but Android 10 or whatever, but they haven't bothered to kind of fix that. And I wish they did. Uh, screen's very responsive, but yeah, the camera is the top, top, top reason. The camera is one of the most expensive things on our phones these days. Everything else costs less. But where the money really goes is the camera. The camera software, the hardware, the optics, sensors, things like that. And this phone is just top, top quality. Everything's been tested, okay, for this one. Tested uh, the optical image stabilization, the wide view, uh, dark, night mode, whatever whatever features that the camera has it's all been tested trust me over a very long time over two separate phones and the camera is absolutely excellent you can shoot video with it and it's so stable if you want it even more stable you can have it super super stable or something like that everything about it is spot on so i hope you find or you found this video useful i hope it helped you in some way 
thank you to whoever used this phone and took good care of it so I could buy it uh, used like new. Um, okay, so thanks again for watching this video. I hope this video helped someone, helped you in some way. Can't recommend this phone enough. Obviously, if it's not clear enough in this video already, uh, it's the, the best phone uh, that you can possibly imagine for the price. It's got amazing features, in-screen in, in fingerprint scanner, bezel screen, optical image stabilization, and it goes on and on and on. It's just uh, a spot on as, as far as the phone is concerned, fast charging. Everything you can possibly imagine a fancy phone to have this phone has at a very, very budget friendly price. Um, so yes, I hope it helps you. I hope someone who's considering, you know, what's the difference between a like new, use like new item and a, and a, a new item? Well, there's hardly any difference. I showed you the differences just to summarize. So there was no screen protector. There was no wrap that the phone comes with when you buy it brand new. There were no stickers on the back um, either. They were removed and someone had probably used the, um, the, the, the case for a very short period of time but it was probably used and that's why it's been protected. And I think the person who got the phone probably removed the screen protector. I'm not sure if it was Amazon. Maybe it was Amazon, but it doesn't really matter. Um, so thanks to thanks to whoever owned this phone uh, before me and thanks to you guys for watching this video, liking and subscribing. I really, really appreciate it. So thanks very much and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.